<sighs> so here we go, we're on to the H section of the VHS retail batch. Put it in H! Let's have a look at what we got. We'll start with big name. Home Alone. Free ticket to Alton Towers inside. Let's see if that's existing now. So this is one of the early releases. Someone hasn't rewinded it. Oh, no voucher over there. Never mind. What about this one? This is the re-release. A family comedy without the family. <laughs> but yeah. Nothing fancy about that. And uh, got Home Alone 2. Lost in New York. Came out, what, a year or two later? And they scream from start to finish, says the sun. But nothing fancy in that one. What about this one then? A family feature from 20th Century Fox. Home Loan 3. It has stunning stunts and great special effects. They must for the kids. This Prima. Is that a knitting magazine? But yeah, I watched this for the first time last year, year before, and it's not big laughs. I'm not sure the kids would like it either. But it is, was it written and produced by John Hughes? Yes. Took me a while. So that's another kid's film is this. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, or the Sorcerer's Stone if you're an American, with extra bonus footage. 146 minutes, nice little blue box. Oh, a little few extra information in the back. So we get the second one, this one's in a green box, includes extra footage. 154 minutes, getting longer. Yeah. No freebies with that one. And finally, the last one on tape is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Is that the right way around? I don't, can't even remember the name. Yeah, year three it says. Nice new reels in there. That's only 136 minutes, that one. And we get Hellboy. Let's see. 12 certificates. Oh, what's this? Oh, someone's cut out a review, so they know what the film's about. Okay, what about this one? This is a newer release, is it? <clears throat> yeah, it's on the new spear, uh, spools. And we've got the Cinema Club version of Hand the Rocks the Cradle, a great 90s thriller. Although, only Hudson's playing a special needs person, so cancel this film. That's got the original version here. This is, yeah, this is this? Hollywood Pictures. Terrific thriller full of suspense. That is true. This is one of those great 90s stories I saw in the cinema. And then we got Hot Shots, Top Gun Spoof, from the makers of Airplane. Not some of them. Only 81 minutes. Obviously, you couldn't find that many jokes. But for the second one, Hot Shots Part Deux, we get Richard Krenner in a Rambo spoof of all things. But yeah, some, some great jokes for that one. And we're on to the Highlanders. This one's, yeah, the original release, retail release anyway. There can only be one. Hmm. We shall see. Great Sean Connery roll. And a great poster. And a re-release. Quite an epic poster this time. But apart from that, exactly the same. So we get two Highlanders or two. The theatrical cut. Who knows what they were making when they did this. But, wonderful, dot dot dot, amazing, dot dot dot, brilliant, dot dot dot, a must for everyone. Yeah, there's a lot of words missing from these reviews, like spectacular dot dot dot, a knockout. Immensely exciting and all action blockbusters, the Daily Star. Loads of action, the sun, first rate, first seal, there you go. Entertainment video, so yeah, one of the first one, I think we did that one, and the third one. Entertainment in video did this one. So this is Highlander 3 The Sorcerer, which was going to be a different name. There's also, before this came out, there was a Highlander 3 that went straight to rental. And all it was was two episodes of the um, TV show that Christopher Lambert made an appearance in. Right, we're on to The Hitcher. More, more warm Brothers here. Yeah? Um, not the best poster, but I guess the point over. It's only 94 minutes. 
great film. So that's why I've got two copies, the re-release. £2.99. And then a third release, probably somewhere in between. But yeah, fantastic thriller again, but this one's in the 80s. And then I've got Hellgate, I'm not sure about this one, from the special effects masters who bought you Hellraiser and Hellbound. I don't think I've actually ever seen this. Oh, looks interesting now. Uh, don't even see who's in it, I can't read. Barely a name. None I recognise. Oh, look at that, there you go. All about the making of. Oh, then we get to one of my favourites, The Hidden, from the, uh, what is it, director of Elm Street 2, uh, Jack Shoulder, who I've interviewed. Fast and Furious, this is the day. But, but if you're looking for a great sci fi filler from the 80s, that's one. And if you're looking for a CGI ball fest, yeah, the special effects will leave you terrified, says Cosmopolitan magazine. I'm guessing they don't watch a lot of horror films. Because this, the first film, the original from the 60s, is a very spooky film, but that is not. Then we got this terrible poster for Halloween. Don't know what it is, because I got a couple of versions of first Halloween and second Halloween, and the front covers are awful, and this is a... They're usually budget releases, so you'd think they'd have that one on the front, but no, they not. Let's do something different. Then, Irish comedy, High Spirits. <laughs> it's brilliantly funny Ghost Caper. No, it isn't, but... Steve Guttenberg at the height of the 80s power. Daryl Hannah and a non sober Peter O'Toole. But it's not offensive. Then Heat in a uh, re release. One of the finest movies in over a decade. It's certainly a good one, but what is it? 163 minutes. Yikes. It's a long watch. But so is this, Kenneth Branagh's Henry V by William Shakespeare. Christian Bale's in this, but only as a teenager. Also our British cast. Is he on the back? No. I think I've seen it once. Hearts War, back when Colin Farrell was in Everything. Uh, this is a POW film, I think, with Bruce Willis. So I don't think Bruce Willis is in it that much. But I've never seen it, so I can't comment on that one. This one, on the hand, I love. This is one of my favourite Clint films. So I have, this is the same version I had back in the day. This nice Clint Eastwood collection in blue box. But yeah, if you want a fun time and a Clint Eastwood film, have watch that. If you don't want a fun time, want a war film, watch this. This is depressing as shit. Hamburger Hill, Vietnam film. Overshadowed by uh, Platoon, but it might actually be a better film. It's certainly not a fun watch. It's, they call it Hamburger Hill for a reason. Or Bruce Willis, Hudson Hawk. Yeah. Big bomb on release. But I find it highly entertaining. Uh, not seeing this one. Heartbreakers with Sigourney Weaver and Jennifer Love Hewitt. <laughs> it's Ray Liotta. Gene Hackman. Ooh, maybe worth a watch. Looking for that. Cook. Very uh, badly reviewed on release. It's not a film I enjoy. I was probably too old for it by the time it came out. Because, what year was this? 91, so I was, uh, yeah, 18. All-star cast, massive set, massive budget. Made a profit, but wasn't regarded highly. Uh, but this is a good fun film. Morgan Freeman uh, with Christian Slater uh, and the Mini Driver who was in a lot of things in the late 90s. This is a disaster movie with a heist. A town is being flooded and there's an armoured man heist. But it is very entertaining. Such as this. Happy Gilmore. Early uh, Adam Sandler film. Very funny. 
whereas this is not. Who the hell thought this was a good idea? Hollywood Homicide with Harrison Ford and Josh Harnett. 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 But directed by Ron Shelton, who's done loads of other great stuff. But somewhere along the line, this film is uh, neither th funny or thrilling, so shame on that pedigree. We've got an old one here, all time greats, The Hustler. Paul Newman playing pool in uh, black and white, isn't it? Yeah. Got George C. Scott and Piper Laurie. Jackie Gleason as the bad guy, isn't it? And Shelley Long Comedy. Hello again. I haven't seen this for a very long time. With Corbin Burnson. Gabriel Byrne. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what happens there. I think she dies and comes back is it as a ghost or something. Or... I've only seen it once or twice back in the day. Highway. Jared Leto. Jake Gyllenhaal and Selma Blair. I don't know this one. Could be awesome. Could be terrible. Music by the guy that from the Black Crows, apparently. Hmm. Oh, another one. Don't know this one. Don't even know how I have this one. Happiness. Lots of great reviews, but maybe I should check that out. The last few. Hoodlum. Lawrence Fishburne, Tim Roth and Vanessa Williams, and Alex Agencia, as Lucky Luciano, so. Old style gangster film, by, directed by Bill Duke of Private to Fame. I don't know if I've seen that either. Actually, so I've missed. And this one as well, the last few I haven't seen. Has the Cards, not the political thriller from the BBC, was it? And then Netflix, or whatever it was, but now it's Kathleen Turner and Tommy Lee Jones. I'm guessing it's a drama. Mm. And finally, Hillary and Jackie, Channel 4, True Story, with Emma Watson and Rachel something. But Charles Dance is in it, and it's probably quite serious and sad. But there we go, all the H's. Thanks for watching, here and for the lesson.